historically, this this is really something. This is at the very high end. It's just that combo. You, okay, here's the deal. Let's all admit the snow and ice pellets and freezing rain today. We've seen that before. Yeah, okay, sure. That was nothing yeah, spectacular. Yeah. We have more to come. But um, the wind, yeah, that's about the strongest east wind. This is about as strong as the east wind we had. Remember before the firestorms at Labor Day yes. 2020? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About that strength, different setup. But we've never had the cold with that kind of a wind before. I've never seen those the combo. It's I mean, a horrible combo. And, and here's the problem. I mean, you look at mo the recent power outages, 2024. Uh, last uh, we just had, well, this one, the, the, this event, January 13th, we'll call it. 160,000 people out. How many? How many days will some folks be out of power? Many, maybe several days. Uh, windstorm a year ago, December, 116,000 people out. 3.5 days. February ice storm, the big one in the valley. A lot of people out. It took two weeks. That was highly unusual, though. But yeah, in most of these windstorms, it's relatively comfortable. By that, I mean it's in the 30s and 40s and 50s, temperature-wise. This time, a bunch of you are going to be out of power for a few days with temperatures in the teens and 20s, so really brutal stuff. Uh, by the way, the freezing rain, it's not white sandy beaches, but we have silver beaches, kind of, here on the uh, Oregon coastline. This is uh, Chinook Winds Beach Camp. And of course, the the sand doesn't freeze because the seawater is warm. But um, yeah, we had some freezing rain make it all the way down to about Newport. Now there was one big silver lining with this storm. We expected a lot of freezing rain in the valley today. A lot of that fell as ice pellets. The cold air was just thick enough; it turns into little chunks of ice, which does not stick onto power lines and onto uh, trees. So we've avoided huge power outages in the valley today. So there was one big benefit of having a lot of ice pellets today. I suppose that's our Willamette Valley Vineyards camera, Salem. You've been frozen all day in the upper teens. Uh, this is kind of at the low end of what we would ever see in Salem for a day where it just stays in the teens most of the day. Uh, a lot of ice pellets and snow today. You've seen a lot of snow, especially from this point northward up into Clark County. This is our, uh, or our Mary Hill Tasting Room and Bistro camera on the Columbia River, 17 degrees there. Look at the wind chills right now. Yeah, we've been below zero in the windy spots today, so really, really brutal. Again, I've never seen this. Uh, the combo of this, the, all these three coming together. Look at that area of low pressure. It moved towards the coastline. Now it's beginning to fall apart. Looks like it has just moved onshore. The reason we had such strong wind, there's low pressure, big Arctic high, dense, heavy, cold air, and it's just the difference in pressure between the two in the air rushes. And it went through the gorge, but it also came over the northern Oregon Cascades and down into the foothill communities in Clackamas County. Uh, power outage outlook. Will we see many more outages tonight? Well, maybe a few more scattered in the next few hours. But as we head towards 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight, the wind will just gradually ramp down. It won't suddenly just stop, but it'll ramp down. I think after midnight, we shouldn't have many additional outages. But again, some of you are going to be without power for several days. All right, let's do the forecast. Cloud cover, the rain, the snow. We wake up tomorrow morning. I think it's just cloudy, and I think the clouds will stick around here in the valley uh, most of the day. So tomorrow's a gray day. We stay in the 20s, but at least it'll be calm, so we can go out and, you know, there'll be ice on some roads, but it is what it is. And then you see the coastline gets a lot of sunshine. Now, Monday's sunny, gusty east wind, not damaging the usual east wind, though, but gusty east wind. Here's the issue. Tuesday morning, you see we're in the 20s to start. A weather system is approaching. Very warm weather system overhead, and this one we think will spread freezing rain in coming up Tuesday afternoon. So Portland tomorrow. Cloudy the whole day. There could be a sun break or two. East wind just back to the normal stuff, but a cold day, 25. But at least it won't be like, you know, just frigid, frigid cold like today. And we stay frozen through Monday, MLK Day, gusty east wind. You know, in the sunshine, some roads will thaw out in the sunshine away from the windy areas. And then I think later Tuesday will be a problem once again, heading towards the Tuesday evening commute. We'll, of course, nail that down as we get closer.